is my third try at filming these stupid birds. Just kidding, Captain. I love you. This is the pen. Josh and Jared, mostly Josh, but Jared helped, closed in under my porch. I had other plans for it, but crap changes. <laughs> so we put the uh, turkey boy under here. Let's see if I can get this right. That's Captain Jack. The front little girl with the longer tail, or maybe she's back. Heck, I don't know. I can tell the difference when I'm looking at them, but not on video. That would be Daisy. Little shorter tail one right there is Dixie. These are my three Heritage Bourbon Reds I got the other day. Uh, Sunday. Today's Friday. Captain, turn around, baby. And what a goofy little bird. She laid an egg, but not in the hay I put under the stairway for her. We enclosed up under the stairs. So, I guess I get in there and move the egg and put it in a nest for her. Don't know which one's the one laying them, but I'm getting quite a few eggs. I was told that they are good setters and that they have even taken over clutches of duck eggs and guinea eggs. So hopefully if I move that one, don't know if y'all can see that with all the rocks, but there's an egg right there. Move it in there into the hay. We can get her to sit on it. Before I got them under here, I uh, had them in a dog kennel, which was way too small, just for a couple of days till we could get this done. And uh, she had laid two eggs that I moved inside and put in the incubator. Not sure which of my girls is doing it, but hopefully both of them go at it. And I can get a good thing of turkeys going on. Uh, it was unused space, and it's about the only place out here that I had that would somewhat give them some kind of shelter out of the rain. We can tarp it off during the winter when it's cold, give them even more protection, because I've got tons of really big tarps laying around. But Captain's so pretty, I wish he'd fluff up. Maybe I can get a picture one of these days. All right, I'm going to pause up. And we're going to go see bacon! Uh -huh. Oh, you like bacon too? Do you like bacon too? You going to talk to mama? Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Come here, baby. Come here. Pretty boy. All right, we'll go see bacon. And just my kind of luck, butthead Oreo is out. Of course. I swear I hate these goats. I really do. If I didn't have a chance of getting milk from pudding, I would put them on that there barbecue pit and smoke them. Make some cabrito up. Stupid animals. All right. Still headed toward pig. There you are. Come here, bacon. Come here, baby. Along with some roosters and sunflower, my duck. Yeah, that's smart of you. Hi, bacon. Hi, bacon. If I can get down here. Come here, sweetie. Hey, Bacon, come here. Come here, Bacon. Bacon. 
Look at your teeth. You're a scary little sucker, ain't you? Boys will be home shortly. I've got a five-gallon bucket of leftover scraps for you. And guys, I got this fat little piglet. Oh, now he's going to get all tangled up in the electric wire that the goats have torn apart. Oh, thank goodness the guys are on their way home. Such a mess. And I don't know what those guys are doing over there. But my roosters keep trying to breed my duck. I don't know what the hell might go on with that sort of mix. <laughs> if anything, I have no clue. Bacon. Got a niche? <laughs> Scratching. Oh, itch. Itch scratch. <laughs> Are you tenderizing that butt rump for me? Yes? And yeah, good lord, they're noisy. And my hen girls are down there. That's still a work in progress. But... Stupid chocolate, my goat, ran through that thing the other day. Somehow or another, I have no clue, but he... Would you shut it or I'll put you in the pressure cooker? <laughs> but chocolate ran through my chicken pen and tore it all to hell and back and let all my... I think there was 21 babies I had just moved down here. Josh. Yeah, excuse you for interrupting my video. Josh and I had put 20, 21 oh, chicks we had hatched out down here. And now they're all free-ranging it. We caught a few up yesterday, but not many. We'll try again to catch some more tonight when they go to roost. Tree fell, almost fell on... Almost fell on the chicken pen. Luckily, it missed. Alright, that's my update, guys. If anybody wants a freaking rooster, come get it. <laughs> because they go off at all hours of the night, morning. I don't think they have a clock. I should set a clock out here so they can tell the damn time. Stop going off at 3 a.m. and 5 in the evening. It's not time to go to bed. It's not time to get up. Oh, all right. I'm out, guys. Love you. Bye.